Hi everyone, welcome back and a very good Monday afternoon to you. We started off the day with plenty of cloud coverage and uh, it's really starting to warm up out there. This is a time lapse over into Cal Allen this morning and we had a little bit of clear skies and then we had some of those clouds that are moving in. Some of them look a little dense. It looks like they want to drop a little bit of some rainfall. Not to worry. We're going to be remain dry for today, but there's going to be plenty of rainfall on the on the way later on this week. Right now we're at 86 degrees with the south southeasterly wind at 13 miles per hour. And here we are already towards the uh, end of May and uh, what a uh, wet May it was because uh, we are we received I should say 10.83 inches of rainfall for the month of May. And of course, a big winter was about two weeks ago on the 19th when we received almost four and a half inches of rainfall and a uh, pretty historic flooding over in Claybrook County as well. Normally for the month of May, we we should be observing only about three inches of rain, so uh, not bad at all. Anywhere between about seven, six and a half to seven inches of, above normal uh, for the month. And we had 17 rainy days of the 31 observed in May, so uh, definitely something to uh, keep an eye on as we move forward with time as uh, we're finally in a surplus as far as the rainfall is concerned. No longer in drought conditions for us here in South Texas, and we continue to monitor a couple of little showers that are lingering offshore right now, but most of that is offshore. We do have some stray little sprinkles up around Port Lavaca and pushing out towards the Victoria Crossroads. Right now, a live look over into downtown Corpus Christi. You have some of the cloud coverage, and again, that rip current risk is low out there, folks. So there's a lot of folks enjoying the beach out there. The rip current risk is not non-existent. It's not none. It's low. So the danger is still out there. You just want to use caution. Now, as we move forward into Tuesday on into Wednesday, we're going to start to pick up some isolated showers and storms. And then as we go into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're going to pick it up to scattered plus to numerous uh, storms that'll be across the area, all courtesy of yet another upper level low that'll be off to the west of us. It's going to be uh, sending us shots of instability, shots of moisture our way, and uh, will lead to some rainfall. And two to four inches of rain will be possible moving forward. That's all the way through the weekend. Now, with the grounds already saturated out there, it could lead to some localized flooding. So we're going to have to certainly watch things as we head towards the end of the week. In fact, as we look at the rain forecast, pretty much nothing for today. And then isolated Tuesday and Wednesday, and we pick it up even further on Thursday and Friday to scatter. In fact, on Saturday, I'm going to pick it up to numerous once we get into tomorrow. But again, all courtesy of this upper level level disturbance right now over Baja California and again the rainy pattern will be returning for us here as this remains off to the west of us it's going to send those impulses right into South Texas and we'll look for the uh, rainfall to be picking up in fact this is a look at the five day rainfall forecast much of the Lone Star State will be receiving some of that rain but none for today but notice as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday we start to pick up the isolated showers here in South Texas and then by Thursday and Friday we have some of the heavy soaking rainfalls across a good portion of the uh, South Texas region so again rainfall certainly on the way. Definitely don't want to put the umbrellas away just yet. Don't forget you can download our Storm Shield app and you can uh, track all the rainfall with us, but picking up by Tuesday and Wednesday, scattered to numerous Thursday, Friday into Saturday. Highs will remain into the 80s, overnight lows in the 70s. So Paul, plenty of rainfall on the way.